Hi guys, my name is Steve Sloan, this is DistractTV.com. We are based over in London at the moment. We're joined by 19 Sensation. He's back with a new single, Chicane. How's it going? All good, all good, very good, yeah. Thank you. Amazing. So before we get started, you know, you've done so much already. Tell me about the track you did with Brian Adams. How did that come about? Don't Give Up. That was a huge track, wasn't it? It was your, your first number one UK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I haven't managed to repeat that yet. Uh, you will, you will. There's <laughs> faith. I have faith. Yeah, that was good. I mean, um, I think Brian rang my mum up at the time, who was managing me <laughs> in my very early days as a ute. And uh, I, I think I came in and she went, no, some strange, strange American sounding guy called Brian rang. And um, I went, oh, really? He said, what did he want? And he said, um, I wonder whether you've been interested in working together. Okay, did, did, he, did he say anything else? Yeah, his name's Ad, it's Brian, Brian Adams. I was like that. It's was a wind up, that's insane. No, no, he's never let me forget it. Um, uh, so, um, no, I did a remix of Brian yeah. on something and then I had the track and uh, I thought, yeah, listen, that, this would be interesting. Uh, do something completely left of field and, um, you know, take, you know, it's about working with Tom Jones and, and, and Brian, you know, you, you uh, he takes a vocalist that out of their comfort zone yeah. and not what you're expecting and, 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 and then it kind of works. Pete Tong, he um, released it on his radio show, didn't he, back in 1999, before the song was actually officially released. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah for sure, yeah. But we didn't tell anyone it was Brian, quite deliberately. Yeah. Just, I just wanted to see how many, um, how many up their arse cool DJs I could get to play. <laughs> before it's too late. <laughs> and I think it was very popular when they found out, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Fair dues, fair dues. You've had a number of albums already out, already six albums. I mean, Behind the Sun was a huge hit as well. What's been your favourite album so far and why? Oh man, that's a difficult one. Um, Good question. I think there's tracks off each one that I, that I, I really like, you know, I don't think there's, there's, there's a period. I think the first two albums were quite seminal and, you know, uh, 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 I'm kind of very excited about the new one. It, it, it's I won't say it's one. Yeah, I will say it's one foot in the past, one foot in the future. Um, uh, you know, each one's different. It's just where you are in that place. You know, it's, it's really hard to kind of, you know, put it in a nutshell. And behind the sun, your second album that was a huge hit, top ten album. Do you do you plan to replicate that with the new album? Uh, is it, is it a default like competition within yourself to try and get to that peak? I used to. Mm. I used to. Yeah. Um, not so much now. Um, I kind of, you know, creatively have a bit, of, walk a bit of a tyrant between club credibility and, and commercial crossover dance records, and I'm somewhere, you know, uh, that's that's me. Yeah. That that's what I like. The new stuff is is kind of interesting. I mean, um, I've worked with Lisa Gerard, who is the writer and the singer of the Gladiator film, and also used to be in Dead Can Dance and stuff. I've got people like Bo Bruce singing on records. Okay. Um, there's a lot of stuff going. Uh, it's it's probably my best album for a very long time. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm you know genuinely excited about it. Uh, I've done three tracks with Ferry Corsten, who I work with quite quite a lot. Um, it was going to be an album of collaborations. It, yeah. w it was going to be uh, sort of superstar DJs and, and me, and and that was a great idea until one actually realised that would take about 18 years to put together because. It's just impossible yeah. to get those monkeys yeah. to, to do. I've been doing it nearly eight, well, 18, well, nearly 20 years. Far out. Should I have said that? You said it already, the damage has been done. Uh, you grow a little bit of a thicker skin, you know, and you, you're not, you're not, I'm, I'm not so bothered about what people think in, in, in certain circles. It's really important to, to not be that guy, you know? Yeah. I mean, at the moment, there's a big 90s revival in terms of like dance, electro house. Um, is anyone out there at the moment, obviously in the, nine, in the scene that we're in now, that you think, you know what, they're quite good, like Disclosure, Luna George, is anyone that you'd want to work with out there? Um, I mostly hate everyone. <laughs> you sound like our camera guy, our other camera guy. <laughs> Honesty is the best policy I find these days. Uh, um, uh, I am a picky bugger. Uh, I, I, I think, you know, there's a couple of bands that I'm interested in. I'm quite interested in churches. I'm quite interested in, in okay. London grammar. Uh, I'm less interested in, in, in dance stuff. I never really have really 
listen to dance music as an inspiration. It's always something from somewhere else that I, I draw those kind of ideas, you know? What can we expect from the album? You mentioned before you're going to kind of have a new school meets old school sort of vibe. So is No More I Sleep kind of a bit of a, you know, intro to the album, how it's going to sound generally? No, nah, not really. Okay, so it's going to be quite eclectic then. <laughs> I'm guessing it's going to be quite eclectic then. I'm hoping. Yeah, there's, uh, there's some really interesting stuff on there. It's something that's quite quite moving, quite slow, some it's quite evolving. Just before we go then, um, talking about new things and you've experimented a lot of music and you've played around the world, where's been your favourite place to play? I've done a whole bunch of crazy gigs in Manila. Um, I used to describe that place as the Wild West. Uh, Anything PG-13 you can mention on, on film? They used to have a sign on the entrance of the club that said, please leave your handguns in your car. I think that's... Terrible, is it? I don't know. Um, um, the craziest, tontoest, maddest, maddest, maddest place I've, I've ever been. Where is this again? I'll have to check it out. The, it's Manila, the Philippines. I'll have to make that happen. As in the thriller, as in the thriller in. <laughs> I'll, have to, I'll have to make that happen. And where can we find you online? Where can we go if like, people at home want to find out more about you, where you're playing next, apart from ministry? Where can they go? Well, uh, you can find me on Nick Chicane Twitter uh, or, and the, the Chicane Facebook page and uh, I've probably got a website somewhere as well, chicanemusic.com or something like that. I don't, I don't, I don't know, really, I don't. Um, uh, what's going on? Uh, you'll find me at Cafe Mambo and all sorts of stuff during the summer, uh, various festivals. Um, and uh, end of July, new album to drop, I think. Very excited, Chicane. I'm very excited. And guys at home, make sure you check out Chicane online, all the YouTube platforms, and Facebook and Twitter and socially everywhere. Chicane, you've been amazing. Thanks so much. Thanks, mate.